I'm going to read Gripping Tales, Emily's Legs by Dick King Smith. The first thing she felt was a sharp pain, two sharp pains to be exact. To begin with, nobody noticed. Emily seemed just exactly the same as her 99 brothers and sisters. It wasn't until the spider sports when Emily won all the eight-legged races that everyone began to ask questions. But why is she the fastest? I suppose I just legged it quicker, said Emily. Legged it? <gasps> and that was when they discovered what was so special about Emily's legs. I don't know what's special. Let's see. Chapter One. To begin with, nobody noticed. Mind you, she couldn't blame Mother Spider. If only she'd had one baby, she'd have been sure to notice. But she had a hundred babies, all hatching at the same time. How could she ex be expected to know that 99 si spiderlings were normal and one was different? Father Spider didn't notice for one thing. He didn't like children. For another, he was always too busy sitting quite still, waiting for houseflies and bluebottles to land in his web in the highest, darkest corner of the room. Emily's 99 brothers and sisters didn't notice. Nobody noticed, not even Emily, until the night of the spider sports. For the grown-up spiders, there were lots of different events. There was web spinning, how quickly you could make a hole, one from start to finish, and fly parceling, how quickly you could tie up a fly in silken threads and fly eating. How quickly could you? Yes, I don't need to explain that. And there was abseiling, where you let out a thread and whizz down from it from the ceiling, and thread climbing, where you whizz back up again. But for the spiderlings, there was only eight legged races. Now, this is where Emily's troubles began. Not that she didn't run in the eight legged races at the spider sports, she did. Not that she didn't win, she did. The trouble was that she won them all, and she won them all so easily. First of all, the spiderlings were lined up at the end of the room and they had to race across the carpet to the other end. Emily won easily. And then they had to race up the wall of the room. Emily won easily. And then they had to race down the wall. Emily won easily. Last of all was the upside down eight legged race, right across the ceiling. Yes, you've guessed it. Emily won easily. Amazing, said all the grown-up spiders. Well done, Emily. But the spiderlings were not happy. Why does Emily always win? They asked one another. Why does Emily always win? They asked the grown-up spiders. Because she's the fastest, of course, said the grown-up spiders in the knowing way that old folks have. But why is she the fastest? asked the spiderlings in the annoying way that young folk have. And that was when the truth was discovered. Emily was asked to appear in front of the Spider Sports Committee to receive her prizes for neatly, neatly parceled little flies. Congratulations, Emily, said the chairperson of the Sports Committee. You have won all four eight-legged races. Why is that, do you think? If you please, said Emily for she was by nature a polite spiderling. It's because I ran the fastest. Ah, said a very grown-up spider. But why did you run the fastest? Emily scratched her head with her two front feet. I don't really know, she said. I suppose I just legged it quicker than they did. Legged it, said the very grown-up spider. Legged it, said all the other grown-up spiders, and they all looked carefully at Emily's legs. They weren't any different from the legs of all the other spiderlings. They were no longer, they were no stronger, they were no hairier. But suddenly they all saw that through, through Emily was scratching her head with her two front legs. She was still standing on eight others. Emily had ten legs. <laughs>